Alrighty, so we're back with episode number two of mission one in our playthrough of all of the various missions. And so real quick, we're starting with Penultimo of the Caribbean and we're playing on the hard difficulty. In the last episode, we set up a very decent little population. Everyone's well off. The island makes money. Things are looking really, really good. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are. Now we have a rum distillery. The last thing we put down was a tannery. So now let's just press play, play in times one speed, and let's get some nice little shots of our island. If you're curious how to put it in like a cinematic camera like this, at least on PC it's all X. And so I'm always doing all X for all sorts of like various cinematic shots for the YouTube channel. It's also how I get my thumbnails, just all X and then take a screenshot. And so as we can see, the population's looking pretty prosperous. Things are looking up. Nice little neighborhoods for everyone to enjoy. Being as precise as we can with our building placements and whatnot. Um, we want to decrease the budget on all of our buildings that are um, industry buildings. Industry buildings, I mean, I guess it's maybe obvious maybe it isn't but they're really really expensive right they do produce goods that are worth a lot of money but compare it to like a plantation this is on the max budget and eight people work here but then let's look at a tannery this is on the second to lowest budget and only five people work here you can imagine i guess it's not a tannery isn't too crazy that's kind of wild so i guess we could and we don't need to leave it on the max budget reason being is that we're not producing like an insane amount of hides down here. A good way, a good like rule of thumb is to compare the output of various buildings. So like let's look at um, the cattle ranch's hide output, 2,320. So if you're curious like how much does a tannery need, right? Well, the numbers will typically tell you. So 4,640 input for hides. And as we can see, that's exactly twice as much as the output of a cattle ranch. And so um, it might not be obvious, but that's actually the reason that we built two cattle ranches in the beginning of our playthrough. Was so that we could fund one entire tannery. Um, that's also the reason that we did two sugar plantations. And then we had one of each food type just to have them. Um, but the two sugar plantations, 3,480, if we double that, then we get 6,960, which is the input for a rum distillery. So, um, just some nifty little information. We're starting to make lots and lots of money, mainly due to the fact that we have this good rum deal here. And so ideally, at some point, we are going to want to get another really good deal for our leather output. Um, we don't have any right now. And then we're also going to want good deals on pineapples. I think we're actually getting the maxed out deals here. Let me check real quick. Close to it, if not having the max, but 20%. You know what? I'm going to start taking these. So 20% on all of our pineapples. Let's go ahead and sign it. Um, let's see. What else are we producing? We can import bananas at a discount. That's a free $4,000, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's see what else we are producing. Hmm. Planks, sugar, tobacco, wool. We're not producing any of these goods, so we're going to have to wait five months to see what else we get. But hopefully we do end up getting... Well, it's almost like guaranteed that we will get some deals for everything. Um, They want us to do an export trade route. But sadly, we've used all of our trade licenses, so let's go ahead and buy one. And that's what I was saying near the end of the last episode. I was saying we should always have one available. Um, kind of foolish of me to do that. And the reason that these two aren't good is we went with the max volume. So like 50,000 rum, that's going to take forever to produce and then sell. 20,000 pineapples, we could probably do that in a while. But um, like for completing these little objectives... We definitely want to keep it simple and just go with the lowest volumes. Even if it's like a bad deal. As long as we get the mission done, we're doing pretty well. So 
let's go through and check in on our buildings we don't want too much goods sitting about it seems like we built a total of four um, teamsters offices and that seems like it's doing pretty good that's plenty and like always you just want to go through make sure that there's no shacks up here it's going to be dragging down the efficiency of your plantations and the reason they're building shacks is because there's no homes everyone working somewhere should be able to afford a home so we have 14 unemployed people so let's consider what we can do what we can do is let's set up some logging camps so keeping with our numbers from earlier um two logging camps will fill in one what is this industry building called a lumber mill so we can build up two logging camps and then we can build up a lumber mill let's go ahead and do that um, and then let's go ahead and build up enough housing for our population so we need 15 households and if we round that up to 16 divided by 2 that's 8 new houses um, just want to make sure that urban development's always on every time you do a bit of house building so let's go ahead and set this up so one two four five six seven eight that should be enough there so we just built plenty of new houses plenty of new job sites hopefully that will remedy our situation and again everything that we just did all of these houses and all of these job slots are going to be net positive so and on top of that all of the houses are going to be influenced by the penny saver newspaper so lots and lots of money going to be coming into the island just through these couple of buildings that we built up two logging camps and a lumber mill very very good this means that we might end up needing even another teamsters office but we'll wait a bit of time just to see how important that's going to be something i kind of want to do is to actually go through and no, build a little road just around like this keeping things simple looking good and as time goes on, we're going to, of course, build up more plantations. Um, I actually, like, kind of, I did, like, a real quick playthrough. I was on times four speed. I was just, like, throwing buildings around, just kind of getting the feel for it before I started this series. And interestingly, there's not a whole lot of room for plantations, which is kind of sad, especially show your plantations. Like, up here is really the only pretty decent spot. Um, it looks like we could fit, like, a couple here, maybe. Maybe one around here. So it looks like we will have enough for at least one more rum distillery up here. Making sugar up here for rum, one more rum distillery. But there's just not like a whole lot of room around. Um, so like on this island, like, it, yeah, there's green. But like when you zoom in, it's like, okay. Well, I guess this area here, I didn't get a good look at this spot. This area is really, really good. Um, so we will exploit this. But like over here, like this is just like you're not going to build plantations here. Curiously, let's check out our mining situation. There is a bit of coal over here, over here as well. And honestly, that's not a bad idea. So it's a good idea to... Like, we're only focused on the colonial era in this mission, right? Um, ideally, you'd want to sort of leave these deposits for later on to, you know, use it to produce really expensive goods. Uh, make steel with coal and iron but because this mission's focused solely on the colonial era it's definitely a good idea to set down some mines with the sole intention of simply selling all of the goods off definitely not a bad idea so yeah we want to put the logging camps on high priority let's put the lumber mill on low priority let's even pause it right now so that these people stop building it we don't want them to build the lumber mill um, before the logging camps, right? That's kind of obvious. It looks like they're going to do it anyways, but anyways, we'll leave it on low priority for now. Then we can go through, put all these houses. Well, we'll leave the houses on medium priority. So logging camps first and foremost, then they'll build up housing and then they'll build up this logging or the lumber mill. 
And it looks like they're sort of just going to do it anyways, but that's okay. Of course, logging camps we need on the max budget so that the people make a wage of $10. Oops. Okay. So, again, um, I'm kind of thinking what we can do is set up like maybe two mines. I'm not sure if many people knew this, but you can build more than one mine on a deposit. So maybe two mines here. And then we can build like a logging camp here and then another mine over here and we'll have like a very industrious little area up against this wall build out this area all the way up just to get more houses um and then a logging camp maybe just somewhere else that we can really get it and that'll be two logging camps and we'll build up another lumber mill um, we can leave this one on this budget here Logging camps are looking good. That should be a lot of additional well-off families, which means that people will be able to afford all this new housing that's going to spring up. So maybe we could get a bit preemptive with it and even start building up. Let's start with these two mines. Well, first off, let's get the road situation kind of mapped out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. I really like these city blocks. Um, if you watch the channel, you'll notice that I do it on like all sorts of different builds. And it's just a really good way to set it up. So I'm always doing it. Cool. So it looks like we're going to come out looking pretty well here. And let's put a logging camp in the center. So we'll have plenty and plenty of jobs here. And then maybe what we could even do is build up just a little bit of extra housing. Um, let's go ahead and build up a chapel over here as well. Get some additional free people to come work on the island. Um, Something like that. You could have put some houses here. Ideally, you could move the chapel forward and then put houses behind it. But we'll go ahead and just throw in some parks for now. Let's check out this building. As you can see, it's pretty full all the time. So it is going to net profit over time now. Uh, just because the entire population is well off and this is the only entertainment building. So eventually, at some point, it might be advisable to build even a second theater. Which will be really quite good. Yeah, the island's looking really, really good. So um, we'll go ahead and sort of put this like little area up to maximum exploitation just to um, sort of get things rolling a bit quicker. I'll play in times two. Typically, I always recommend that you play in times one speed. But what we're going to do is as soon as these buildings are finished, let's go ahead and pause them, right? So that way we're not like wasting a lot of money. Um, we'll leave, I think, maybe the logging camp up. Because even if no one works in these buildings, we're going to be paying the upkeep cost for the building. So by pausing it, it's going to allow us to have the building at the ready. The moment that we need job slots, um, we can just unpause a building. And we won't have to spend money on it for a while. So all really, really convenient. And the island's looking really good. I'm really liking the way that this is looking. And so I actually went through and was actually like finishing missions. Um, let's leave the logging camp up though because there might be some new people moving onto the island real soon. Um, let's actually go ahead and let's leave this up. 10 new revolutionary immigrants. So that means not only are we getting immigrants moving in here. Um, just like the normal numbers as you can see like two moved in a while ago four moved in but we're getting somewhere in like that realm on top of that um 10 new revolutionaries are going to show up so let's go ahead and unpause maybe three of these buildings all the mines we'll put on the max budget as well and just like that 17 new people showed up so yeah we're going to need even this new mine built up and that means 15 homeless families. So let's go ahead and build up another entire neighborhood. One neighborhood should be enough. 
Um, so let's go ahead and place down just one neighborhood real quick. And throw down some more parks. So sadly, these people are going to be living in moderately polluted areas and they will have a lower life expectancy. But what can you do? Yes, I really, really, really like the way that this is all turning out. Thinking just some logging camps out here, like two uh, logging camps, maybe even like three logging camps. Pirates are attacking. Let's see what they're going for. They're going to try and come up here, but I don't think that they can scale like this cliffside here. And so if we come over here, we see that their only real option is to come through this choke point. Um, that might end up running past the fort. So what we're going to do is wait for them to get just a little bit closer. And we're going to switch this to defensive. Right about now. And we're going to want them on engage attackers. And as you can see, everyone was in the building. And we changed it to defensive, which means that both squads leave at the same time. And hopefully... They don't run off into some really dumb spot. They want us to build a tavern, but like I said, we're not really using taverns, so we're just going to quick build this one. Um, get our 10 revolutionary immigrants, and then we're just going to demolish it. Not going to be efficient at all. Go ahead and watch this little battle unfold here. Cool. And because we have our or on the max budget our soldiers are pretty strong so even though it's an even fight here there's eight of them and eight of us um, we should still come out on top here hopefully There's the pirates dealt with. Now, that was quite a bit closer than I wanted, would have wanted it to be. Let's put this back on man the ramparts. You, that's like a good default setting is to always go to man the ramparts. Um, oh wow, look at this. Even more pirates. That's not good at all. Uh, we might even lose this fight. So let's go ahead and build up a guard tower. First guard tower, and I'm going to leave it here. Let's go ahead and quick build it even, and let's max out the budget. No, so I talked about it in the previous episode. I was curious as to the wage of um, the guard towers, and it actually, on the max budget, it will give a well-off wage. So this is a spooky fight. We might not win this one, actually. In our weakened state. Maybe we will though. It might be close. Look, I do want to see. Let's go ahead and pause the fight. And let's quickly check. Decline. Deaths. War. So we've lost four people to war so far. An entire squad has been wiped. And the more soldiers you lose in your little fights, the less damage you're dealing, which leads to like um, a situation where you're losing more and more troops quicker and quicker, which isn't great. As we can see, there's only two troops left and probably going to end up losing this, lose everyone that was in the fortress. Let's go ahead and check on this. Okay. Yeah, there's no way that we win this fight. And we want to leave. Okay, so these guys are on man the ramparts, right? And then there's this guard tower. This guy, sadly, he's dead. Like, 100%. There's no way he lives that. And so now what we can do is switch this to defensive. And so they should send out a squad to come help fight alongside this guard tower. And so this is typically, like, um, just like a method that I always end up using. Guard towers are really nice to hold choke points. They're actually, they have, like, a way higher range. So, like, they're shooting these guys before they even get 
within range. Produce corn, sure thing. Let's see, fulfill an export trade route. I was supposed to have done this a while back, but um, bananas, a thousand bananas sounds good. Can import hides. Not a whole lot else going on here. Go ahead and leave that. It should wipe out this squad. Sadly, that squad over there is going to make it through, which is kind of annoying. Oh, no. Maybe they get wiped here. Target. Remaining loot. Pirates destroy your buildings and plunder the debris, including all contents. Once they've gathered sufficient loot, they will leave. Wow, so they want to take $50,000 worth of loot from us. The fort, let's put it on man the ramparts then. Oh, the fort ended up killing that guy that was walking by. That's good. Um, so, something nice about the guard towers is the soldiers inside won't actually end up dying, which is really good. Quite convenient for us. I might move this over one. Let's get it done sooner rather than later, because... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? I think that's 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, and then we can move the guard tower into a bit of a different spot as well. Let's move it. Hmm. Yeah, we might as well move it there. And then what we can do is demolish the road. And again, kind of nitpicky to be moving buildings around. When you move a building, like relocate it, all the people lose their job, which is kind of annoying, but... Oh, not guard towers, though. So something really quite cheesy you could do is leave your guard towers kind of like in the center of your town, and then whenever uh, pirates are attacking or whatever is happening, you can just relocate it, and all the guards will stay inside, instead of having to wait for them to run all the way over here. Um, something kind of cheesy. It's something I used to do a long time ago. I haven't really even thought about that in a while, but pretty funny nonetheless. Lots of poor people because they're unemployed, so we do want to get some jobs down for people. Probably because I just fired a bunch of people, but that's okay. So the coal mines are down. Let's go and check out what other mines we can do. We have a coal mine up here, but I don't really like the fact that it's so close to... Like this area up here where lots and lots of goods are being produced. But I mean, I reckon there will be fine. Um, so we ended up with one additional logging camp, so that means we need at least one more, and then if we do three more, then we'll actually have enough for two lumber mills. So let's go ahead and do that. really like the way that this spot is looking. One, two, three. So now what we gotta do is try and find a way for... A nice looking little curve to come through here. Good enough. Okay. I like that. So, um, if a building is being constructed and you control click a similar building, um, for the budget this will work and for upgrades this will work. But the work modes you'll have to go through and change it once the, once the building's finished. But so I just control clicked our logging camps, and this means that even these logging camps um, will be set to the max budget once they're finished. Let's check in on the population. I just noticed someone died. Oof. Unemployed, plenty of vacant jobs. Things are looking good. Okay. So potentially I will do another guard tower somewhere around here. We might... You know what? We could do two guard towers right here. That could be kind of... Um, cool looking. Yeah, I mean, we're making enough money that I'm not really worried about it too much. I'm curious, what's the front of the guard tower? That's something... So, the little thing goes to the right. The little Assassin's Creed jump off thing, I think. Okay, that should be fine. Um, let's set these to a lower priority. We don't need these built up quite yet. Um, we're all out of sugar, is that what this is? Yes, so let's go ahead and get Dunder still. This upgrade will decrease the amount of sugar that the buildings need. Pirates are coming in from over here again. Let's go ahead and leave these guys on man the ramparts. 
Um, we should have actually repaired this. It's okay. So yeah, like you could get this mission done a lot quicker, but I think it's more satisfying to go through and to just take your time with it. So I do want to sort of stretch these little series out and it'll be nice to have like the entire island just, you know, set up really, really well and then even ready to move on to the next era, which could be quite interesting. But I definitely won't be doing that, although I could, but um, moving on to the next era. Because once you finish the mission, it just lets you pretty much play in, what's it called, um, sandbox at that point. Which is pretty cool. But these guys are almost close enough to the guard tower to where I can unleash our soldiers. So go ahead and get ready for it. Yeah, let's do it now. Because it seems like they're kind of taking like a dumb route anyways. And... Hopefully there's no more pirates. Um, how many guards are in the guard tower? Just one right now. So yeah, as you can imagine, having like a guard tower in the middle of your town, guards instantly get into it and then you can relocate it. Hopefully all these squads, both these squads kind of engage on our guard tower. That would be the most convenient. Just because it seems like their pathing is kind of annoying me, I might even build another guard tower over here somewhere. Maybe right behind the mine. Looks like they're going to run headlong into two of our squads, though. Yeah, it's a pretty one-sided fight. And the guard tower should be able to hold its own. I don't even think we're going to lose a troop here. Nice. Alternatively, we could just build an entire additional fort over there. So 33 versus 126. Mm. Two guard towers is probably good enough. Yeah, here comes the second group of pirates. It's kind of funky how that's working. Um, let's see if we can change this to defend buildings. Okay, so yeah. Sometimes this doesn't really work, but we are able to sort of micromanage here. And so I don't want our troops to engage in an even fight. I'd rather it be like heavily in our favor. So we're going to tell them to go defend the buildings. And then once they get close enough, um, we'll switch them back to engage attackers. Just so that they're like aggroed onto, the enemies are aggroed onto our guard towers. So, um, What did I say? It's to the right. So this is facing away from me now, I think. So let's switch it to engage attackers. Nice. So um, this used to not really work. It'd be really nice if you could just straight up like go here, go there, defend this spot, dig a trench. Like that'd be really cool. But um, the game doesn't really work like that sometimes. Or it doesn't work like that at all. Like this is the only way you can micromanage in any capacity. Yeah, we're starting to make lots and lots of money, which is really nice. Those are on the max budget. This should be a fairly one-sided battle here. And without much fuss. Very, very nice. Okay. So now we have an additional guard tower over here to help defend. Um, let's go ahead and build our second 
Theater. Suppose we can do it here. Let's check in on the population. Lots of vacant jobs. We just need some more housing. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Nice. So we still have urban development active. One here, one there, one there, one there. We don't need to go through quick building stuff. Maybe let's, I guess just this little part of the neighborhood is fine. Of course, always on the lowest budget in the colonial era. Help first preach later on all of our chapels. Um, fulfill export trade route with those guys. Bananas. Do we have any bananas in here? We do. Okay, so that'll be done next. And let's go back in times two speed. Let's go ahead and do yet another... I'm thinking lumber mill. Ah. It would have been really nice if this road was extended like one space further. Because we would have been able to fit the lumber mill here and then a Teamster's office right behind it. Sadly that is not the case. Let's just go ahead and do this I guess. And could probably even do another lumber mill over here. Perfect. Um, and then just... To get preemptive with it, let's go ahead and do that. Another Teamster's office. Max out the budget here. Let's see how many educated people we have. Oh, we have plenty. So, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then, let's go ahead and do, I guess, the anniversary park. Might look nice here. And then we can do some little side parks right here. Cool. I like the way that looks. Another whole theater for the population. Pirates are attacking again. What is going on? Quickly want to make sure. Oops. Let's put them on and defend buildings. Bananas, nice. Extend our, extend our mandate again. And I suppose... Right around now should be good to turn them around. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Lots of vacant jobs. That's kind of too many. You don't want too many vacant jobs because um, then you're just paying for a bunch of buildings that no one's working in. Um, they're actually targeting a guard tower. My hope was that these guys would end up getting caught on this guard tower, but it kind of doesn't look like it. But now that we have this area completely locked down, like, there's just no way that... I doubt we even lose a troop here. Unless no one's in this guard tower, of course. Oh, we did lose a troop, Satch. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and sort of start focusing on, I guess we can, well no, let's just completely focus on this area for the time being. We need a handful of new people coming, so let's go ahead and just start hiring in a bunch of workers. Um, 50 vacant jobs, which means that we're going to need around 50 new households. Divide that by 2, that's 25 houses in total. That's plenty, I'd say. So, 25 new households. Let's do that very quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Thirteen, fourteen. Um, we can do something a bit cooler over here. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we can throw a park into the center here. Let's do a 2x2 two two square. 
Ooh, that looks kind of cool, I would say. Okay, we don't want to build any houses around this area because it will start tearing down trees. Let me see, how many did I count up again? So there's six, another eight is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're at 20. So let's go ahead and put, I guess, just a whole another little neighborhood around this area. Train too uneven. Suppose that'll work. And then let's do it, I guess, one more time. Cool. So that should be plenty of good housing and plenty of people coming to work. Fill trade route. So any trade route will do. Um, which ones were we looking for again? We have rum and pineapples. Coffee, rubber, sugar, tobacco. So no exports that are really good for us. Let's do, I suppose, just like a real quick wool. That's fine. Another extension on our mandate. Cool, lots and lots of people working and lots and lots of good buildings for us. Good amount of buildings there. These pirates are taking the long way. Um, I'm going to stop watching in on these fights. Ooh, this is the biggest fight that we have come to thus far, though. I, I keep not leaving them on... What's it called? Um, Man the Ramparts. Sadly, we might have to demolish this area and just put um, an entire fortress there. A fortress with two squads inside of it on Man the Ramparts, there's like no way they ever lose to anyone. Uh, they could probably take on like 10 squads by themselves. And none of the troops inside would even die. It's just once the fortress falls, that's whenever you lose everything. But for right now, I think we're in a pretty good spot. So let's go to engage attackers. Hopefully these soldiers should start moving. Yes. Um, these two guard towers should be able to hold. I should have done that sooner. They're really far. But it's okay, I'm not worried. Um, again, country houses, lowest budget. Always, let's go ahead and throw in... Nice. Um, let's go ahead and throw in all of our parks real quick. And, you know, of course you could not do parks and then just put additional houses and make it even more... Like, even more room for houses. But this is just what I've always done and I really like the way it ends up looking, so... Probably end up doing it forever. Let's throw a park in the center of those. Hmm. I guess they just ran right by. Yeah, there you can see 43 new people showed up. So let's check in on... Yeah, so not too many vacant jobs, lots of homeless families. Um, we just need a lot of these homes to start springing up. So let's go ahead and just start quick building some of them. I guess just all of them. Plenty of vacant homes now. Um, let's go into times one for just a moment. So as we can see, almost the entire population is within our newspaper which is really really nice and let's actually go through and build yet another one this one ideally we would get the entire thing so right around here so let's go ahead and i guess demolish these two houses here and we'll build another newspaper and this one we're going to leave on the work mode this one let's bump up the budget to the max Um, let's go defend the buildings for now. Um, same thing with this one, bump up the budget to the max. And let's leave this one on the independent. So everyone on our island should be slowly being pushed towards the independent, um, the revolutionary faction. So it will just take a bit of time. I'm going to put this on Man the Ramparts now so that I can more efficiently do this. 
well, we need to leave it on defensive for the time being, but. Now engage attackers. And then we can put this on man the ramparts. Okay, cool. Things are looking really, really good. We are definitely making a lot of money. And so now this building has netted us $20,000 in its life lifetime, which is really neat. It's nice to have but they'll trade route. Sure thing. Rum, pineapples. We can do a low amount of bananas. Let's go ahead and get a maxed out um, percentage on the corn. And then still know what's it called. Still no leather, which is kind of unfortunate. Checking on the population. Plenty of vacant homes, lots of vacant jobs. Things are looking up. It's like 30 guns firing at the same time. Kind of going to lose a lot of troops here. 10 more revolutionary immigrants. Sure thing. So that's why that one took so long was because... um. What's it called? We didn't really have a whole lot of people up there working in the plantations. Oh no. Oh no, no. These guys ran into three enemy squads by themselves. That's not good. Okay, after this one, we are just going to go ahead and demolish this area up. I really like the way it looks, but uh, having... A fortress over here is just too important. Oh wow, they're actually going to burn down one of these. They might even make it kind of deep here. Um, let's go ahead and be a bit cheeky with it. Demolish that. Grab this one. Relocate them here. Boom. Instantly. Oh. There were supposed to be troops inside of this. The first time I've ever done that and that didn't work. It's kind of unfortunate. Build another chapel, sure thing. Let's go ahead and demolish that one. We can relocate this one. Little thing to the right. I did really like this area, but it's just going to be too important for us to actually be able to defend ourselves. Um, this also means that we could probably even demolish these houses and set something up that just works a bit more smoothly there. And military time. Fortress. There we go. Let's go ahead and quick build this. Max out the budget. Utilities. Man, the ramparts is what it should have been on, but it's not. It's okay, though. Um, what I'm kind of thinking is we could just do, like, two country houses here. And then a little park in the center. Change this to defensive and have them defend buildings. Okay. Hopefully a lot of people start moving over to this fortress. Kind of a lot of vacant jobs though is kind of making it a bit sketchy. There's a ship sort of coming in soon. Yeah, let's go ahead and just hire in the rest of these guys. Any trade route? Um, leather. Hey, look, leather finally. Only 4,000 units, but better than nothing. Oh, yeah, and planks. We need to do planks at some point as well. And coal. We could do coal. Oh, wow, that was really expensive and kind of dumb. But, I mean, it's fine. As long as we're making a lot more money on all of our goods. Only a good thing. I must say, I'm. 
bunch of new soldiers. Let's have these guys engage attackers now. Put them on man the ramparts. Okay. And just like that. So now. Oh wow. Ah, oh, they've already been engaged upon. Guess we'll watch one more battle. This one looks like a pretty big one. There's troops up here firing down on them. Got two whole squads here. Well, half health squads. But I'm not sure if you knew this, but the longer you stay in the colonial era, uh, the larger pirate armies actually become. So it is a bit spooky, but as long as we got this fortress here, we should be fine. Probably gonna have to build just nothing but fortresses. No more guard towers. They're just too inefficient. If you try and make it through the colonial era very quickly, then they can be alright, but um, just the fact that we're kind of spending a lot of time here um, leaves us with the fact that we need to build fortresses, full-on fortresses. As you can see, we haven't been running into any like supply problems. I guess like right here is our first one that we're really seeing that I've noticed on this tannery. Um, but yeah, we're not really running into a whole lot of supply problems because all of our buildings are well measured. So these buildings might have been here for a while. Those little, what's it called? Some <clears throat> things. Yeah, you can see the pollution's building up around here. 20 already, which is really bad. So we need to make sure to, you know what? At this point, let's go ahead and just do no more shacks. Um, kind of cheesy. At least I feel it's that way, but... It's just going to be too important. We don't want to pollute up our food and our money. Pollution will go down over time, so this pollution will get cleared up. But kind of unfortunate that it got built up as much as it did. Um, let's go ahead and potentially build up some additional ranches. But this time, let's look for anything that only gives hides. Yeah, we could build a cattle ranch here, which I don't hate. Yeah, um, just for simplicity's sake, we'll go ahead and do three ranches for one cannery. That seems like that's going to work out the best for us. Cool. So there is that. This area is reaching nearly 100% exploitation, I would say. Um... What I'm kind of thinking is we could fit probably one more logging camp around here. And then one more up here. And let's go ahead and do yet another lumber mill. And then behind this place, let's do yet another teamster's office. And then here we can just throw in, I guess, some parks. Keep it simple. Cool. Cool. So yeah, this entire little settlement is pretty much at 100%. And maybe we can even... We don't really need to go through and build more Teamsters offices. If we're running into like any issues with it, like one by one, we'll bump up each Teamsters office by one budget. I talk about this in the guide that I made. You never want to go with the max budget on your Teamsters offices. It's just going to be way too expensive. Like... $114. Each of these guys is being paid $17. And um, something that you'll notice a lot as time goes on is if you go to your treasury and go to expenses, upkeep, not upkeep, but wages. Right now it's the logging camps, but on the max budget, Teamsters offices, if you got a bunch of them, then you're going to be paying like $10,000 every year to Teamsters alone, which is, you know, not amazing. So, um, this is a really good screen to come and check out anytime you're curious about what exactly all your money is going to, how you're making it. Like, um, I talk about rents. Rents are really important. And look at that. In the past year, we've made $20,000 from the rents. Exports are like half of the money or a third of the money, almost a third, is just from rents alone. So really important to always 
house your entire population. On top of that, you can do other neat little things like um, influence your population with newspapers and all that jazz. So let all this get built up and then, yeah, so now we don't even need to ever move our troops from our forts ever again. Like this fort should be able to hold off up against 10 at a time. If there was 10, I would definitely send these troops in, but definitely can hold off against quite a bit more troops than usual. Um, three galleons coming in, but yeah, we should be fine. So I'm going to try not to focus on everything else too much, but I would say that this little island here is done. There's some other stuff we could... The only issue I have with like building stuff too far away from our little town is that we technically have to make another whole town over here because people are going to have to walk for so long um, just to be able to get to work and then come home and then they got to worry about all their other stuff. So not like too amazing. Let's go ahead and get moving on to the next little mission. Let's build up some Teamsters ports. Yes, let's build one there. One here. And one here. Cool. Yeah, it'd be really cool if you could, like, specifically tell squads where to go like you could just imagine if i had one squad sitting here one squad sitting here and then the pirate armies came up and then they're being attacked by the fortress and squads on each flank that would be really nice but sadly it is not to be we're being attacked by what is this six at a time wow we are making copious amounts of money though um, is there any trade deals that I have on a lower budget? Really? So that's kind of spooky. Um, bananas. A thousand bananas at a time. That seems fine. Alrighty. However, this video is even longer than the last one. I wanted to make them around um, 30 minutes long, but time sometimes gets away from me, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and end this episode with a very large battle sequence if we can. I'm curious, is there like a hotkey for changing the game speed? I don't think so. But I really hope you guys... Oh no. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with more Tropico 6 videos like this, I'm going to be working through all of the missions and I think it'll be a lot of fun and very very cool and if you want to follow along with the rest of those then be sure to subscribe peace